Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, full-time dentist. Today we will be talking about the incisor classification of mild occlusion. But before we continue, make sure to press the subscribe button down below because it would really help me to do more and more videos. Let's start now. Now in class one incisor relation, the lower incisor occlude immediately on the cingulum of the upper incisor. For class two, we have division one and division two. In division one, the upper incisor is proclined, equal to increased over jet, as you can see. In class two, division two, the upper incisor is retroclined, so the opposite. There is a minimal, or maybe we have an increased over jet. Whereas in class three incisor relation, the lower incisor is in front of the upper incisor. Or in other words, the upper incisor occlude on the cingulum of the lower incisor, so it's opposite to class 1. Here the overjet is reduced or reversed. Now you might be asking, what is an overjet? Overjet is when the upper incisors, they protrude forward. So they protrude forward in class 2, division 1 and division 2, and they protrude backward in class 3 incisor relation. So that's why I said in class 3 it is reverse overjet, so it is the opposite. Here is another picture. As you can see, in a class one, the lower incisor occlude on the cingulum of the upper incisor. In class three, it is the opposite. The upper incisor occlude on the cingulum of the lower incisor. In class two, we have division one and division two. Division one, the upper incisor is proclined very much, so equal to increased overjet. In class two, division two, the upper incisor is retroclined, so there is a minimum or increased overjet.